Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will give you a brief introduction about robot framework with Selenium library. Robot framework is a generic test automation framework for acceptance testing and acceptance test driven development also called as ATDD Acceptance Test Driven Development Robot Framework has following features Generic Test Automation Framework for Acceptance Testing and ATDD Robot Framework use tabular test data syntax and keyword driven testing approach. Test framework is operating system and application independent. You can develop test framework on Unix or Windows system and run it on Windows or Unix operating system. Test libraries can be extended with Python and Java language. Robot Framework has many built-in libraries you can use and users can develop custom library with Python and Java language. Test Framework is open source software and released under Apache license 2.0. Robot Framework has many libraries and most of the libraries are open source so users can use under open source license. Robot Framework is hosted on GitHub, so users can download latest release from the GitHub location. Users can create new high-level keywords from existing ones. In other words, users can extend keyword from existing keywords. The core framework is implemented using Python and run also on JSON and IAM Python. So users with Python language, Java or .NET language can also use robot framework with their knowledge. Robot framework website has many information users can use. You can find information on the robotframework.org website. On this site, you can get libraries, you can read documentations and user manuals, and also you can download many tools to develop your robot framework test application. The test module, module looks like this. Test data and robot framework, test libraries, test tools, and system under test. So once you have test data, you can define the test data in robot framework as variable or collection variables. And you can import various test libraries and use any test development tools to use the library and use its keywords. Then you, you can use the keywords to test the application under test. Let's see an example. In this example, let's use the Mahara ePortfolio system as a test website. We are going to test the login functionality of the site. The test case is authorized users can login Mahara ePortfolio system with valid username and user password. So users should enter username in the username field and enter password in the password field and click on the login button. So once the login is successful, a logout link should be displayed. So test steps are following. Step one, open browser. 
Step 2. Enter student 1 in the username field. Step 3. Enter test 1 in the user password field. Step 4. Click on the login button. Step 5. Verify that logout link should display. This screen displays the whole robot framework implementation for this test case. So settings is the library used in this test framework. We imported Selenium to library. And we define four variables to use in the test. Login username ID, that represents username field. Login password ID, that represents the password field. Login button ID, that represents the login button. And logout link, that represents the logout link. And under test case, the documentation has the test case. So we add the test case in the documentation. And all red lines represent the keyword. Open browser. This is a site. And open the browser Firefox. So this means the Firefox will be launched and navigates to HTTP demo.mahara.org website. Maximize browser window is used to maximize the browser. Wait until element is visible. This keyword is used to wait until the element is visible on the site. So this is very useful for dynamic synchronization. So we wait until the login button displays on the page. And timeout is 30 seconds. Input text is used to input text in a text field. Input text, login username ID and student1. Next keyword input text, login password ID test1. And next one is click element. We click on the submit button. Click element, login button. And the last line, page should contain element. This is used for assertion on the test. Remember that in each test case, we should have only one assertion. If any assertion fail, fails, the test will not resume. So we should not have more than one assertion in one test case. So this is the whole implementation. Once the script is done, we can run the script in two ways. One is the command line. One is using robot framework IDE. In this introduction, I will explain how to run it with command line. So open a command line window and open the folder where the test script is located and uh, input the following command pybot dash dash output uh, directory test result and dash dash timestamp outputs. And this test script is located under the login folder and the test suite is login suite txt. Pybot is used to execute robot framework scripts and it can have many parameters. The output directory is used for adding a test result folder and dash dash timestamp outputs is used for adding a timestamp in the result file. So when each test is completed, Robot Framework generates three different file types. XML, XML, uh, log HTML, and report HTML. You can use XML in other applications. And log HTML and report HTML can be displayed on web browser. So by looking at the test pass or fail stats, we can understand if the test has failed or has passed. We can also look at the result by opening the log file. 
So when test passed, the last pass and fail column will be marked as a green. So it means the test passed. If test failed, the whole page background is red. That means the test failed. By looking at the log file background, we can understand if the test has failed or passed. So in this video tutorial, you had a general idea about robot framework. Thanks for watching.